Bill Shorten will be delivering a major speech today where he does argue that it is time. He'll be doing it at the same venue where Gough Whitlam delivered his It's Time speech. Joining us live from the Labor campaign, our political reporter Annalise Nielsen. Annalise, Bill Shorten trying to draw a few historical comparisons there. Well, there are a few comparisons, and we are told it was Bill Shorten's idea to give one of the final speeches of the campaign at the same venue where Gough Whitlam gave his It's Time speech, which was so iconic. But we're told there won't be too many direct references to Gough Whitlam's speech, but rather it will be trying to push that point that it's time for a generational change, where Bill Shorten will be speaking in particular quite heavily about climate change and how he thinks Labor is the party to invest in climate change solutions. But there will undoubtedly possibly be that connection drawn between some of the sentiments that Gough Whitlam expressed in the same speech. We of the Labor Party have used these crucial last years in opposition to prepare ourselves for the great business of moving our nation ahead, to uniting our people in a Commonwealth cooperative endeavour and to making the democratic system work once more. And Annalise, the Adani issue continues to plague the Labor campaign. It does indeed. Bill Shorten was asked about this last night on national television. Interesting point because they were putting to him that perhaps he has more of an opinion on it uh, in the climate change perspective when he's down south and when he's up north in Queensland he steps back from some of the criticism because there is that focus in Queensland in particular from a number of key unions about the jobs that would come from Adani. But he says he's not trying to have it both ways. He's just going to leave it up to the science. Listen, I'm not here to champion Adani. Uh, they've missed a lot of their starts. They've said they were going to do a 60 million tonne mine, now it's down to a 10 million tonne mine. But what I've got to say to people who want to see real action on climate change is the choice is actually between Liberal and Labor. You can't deny the impact that the Adani coal mine has had on this election. Just about every stop around the country, some Adani protesters have managed to find the opposition leader and question him on the plans for Adani. So it is likely to be a very big factor at polling day on Saturday, but of course we'll have to wait and see. It's like a beautiful day at Lidcombe this morning. Thanks, Annalise. It's coming up uh, today, the two major final speeches of the campaign. 12.30, the Prime Minister, live from the Press Club. 2pm, the final set-piece speech of the campaign from Bill Shorten at Blacktown in Western Sydney.